one turret. They pop the Shrelly just for fun. And the second turret now going to go down. Moscow 5 will take this semi-final. Excellent job by them. GG, you can see them standing up there. Super happy about this one. So it's going to be third and fourth place player coming up after this. That's going to be against all authority versus COG. So third place is still a lot of money involved in this. Remember, it's a hundred thousand dollar tournament here at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championships. But Moscow Five there will be facing Dignitas in the finals. And you know what? Moscow Five wanted Dignitas in the finals. So they, you know, we think we play better against American teams. They were fearful of against all authorities. They've got what they wanted. It's been another two nil clean sweep as well, which mm -hmm. is kind of surprising because COG coming into this tournament, you know, Big Fat LP was playing fantastic, but he just just got focused so heavily at the start. I wonder if that first game really knocked him off his game. I don't know. I think he played a really, really good mid-game here on Ari. I, I don't think he really got uh, caught out in really stupid places. I think he partially also enabled that that almost comeback kill on Cannon by landing a charm there. Um, but I, I, I think it was more a, a team sort of failing there by CLG. I think they had game two in the bag. Their initial strategy with those early pushes was really, really smart, and they could have kept pushing that bottom turret up to the inhibitor and, and capitalizing there. Uh, you know, again, I'm not quite sure why they why they gave up on that one. Um, uh, you know, even still, you know, they all farmed really well. Double lift at 16.9 thousand, 15k on hot shot, but they seem to just run out of steam late game, which is why I'm surprised that they said, "Hey, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning." Let's do something else. So and, and do you think it's like the fact that they just stuck to their the old school method of <laughs> many many cards coming up behind us? The old school method of just hot shot split pushing. It's what they've always done. Do yeah, you not think it's time to like go? You know, we're going to have to change our meta here. Maybe it's that North American teams don't run Ash very often, so they're not used to what kind of things catch them out. Uh, this is one of the, really one of the first times we've ever seen a, a team just ban junglers in a row. Yeah. Uh, and and normally you don't see uh, first pick Nocturne that often. Uh, most teams don't run them there very very much. Uh, nor do most teams run Ash very often, especially in North America. And so they're I don't think they're just used to like, hey, hot shot split push is going to get caught. And and so I think that was kind of a feeling of them not quite being as prepared as they could be. But we're going to hear it. From their mouths, we have interviews ready on the stage. Hey guys, here we are on the main stage. Hotshot GG and Alex East from CLG and Moscow 5. An absolute nail-biter second game that almost brought it to a third. Hotshot, you guys were able to somewhat thwart what happened the first game with the same picks and bans. One targeted at Darian, somewhat also towards uh, the jungler as well. You also got out Shivana and Lee Sin, so Diamond couldn't have those. What was the idea behind that, and why do you guys think it worked better the second game? Well, it wasn't really uh, that that changed things between the first and second game. Uh, the second, I mean, the first game they really outpicked our bottom lane, and literally that snowballed the whole game, and we lost from bottom. We got crushed. And then uh, second game we were winning so 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 hard, and we we uh, I got caught with an arrow and a nocturne ulti, and then they got a baron. And uh, before that, yeah. Right on. Alex, you guys played an incredible first game. You came out very strong. Uh, how much did you guys use that momentum to come into the second game? The, the second game was like the most hard game uh, in uh, two months for me, I think. It was really nervous. It, it was just one mistake and uh, it cost a lot. So uh, we, we just felt that they will swap the lanes. So uh, we predicted that. But then uh, they swapped that again, and they got teleport, they got Nunu buff, so they got advantage in that. That gave them huge advantage with like two or three towers. And uh, then they were just snowballing that advantage a lot. And then uh, Hotshot got teleport, so they were just pushing us all around. And uh, the only our choice was like going in mid late game and catching on uh, the mistakes with the arrow. Uh, that's what we did when we caught, and then we got Nasher. What is your mentality during that when you know the other team has quite a snowball going, they're very strong, you need to turtle a little bit, what's the best advice you can give in that instance for anybody during that situation? Uh, to be honest, I myself uh, is pretty bad at, at these situations, <laughs> so it's about my team. Uh, we're like in mood, like, we can do this, we will do this, so. Awesome. Hotshot. What is CLG taking away from this? You guys have played amazing games all week on long. You've showed very strong. Moscow 5, obviously a top contender as well as you guys. What will you guys do different next time? A little more homework, a little more practice. Where do you think it all, what, what it all comes down to? We definitely need more heroes in our lineup. We're really restricted uh, in our lineup. And Voiboy picked up uh, Lee Sin. Um, 
right before and he like unlocked the secret. Lee Sin is like, no one in EU really knows how to play against it. I don't really know how to play against it. I just ban it. And uh, he clean sweeped everybody with Lee Sin, so I need to learn Lee Sin. And uh, our bottom lane needs to learn a few more heroes too, so. Right on. Do you have any shout outs to your fans, sponsors, uh, last things to say? Yeah, shout out to our sponsors, Razor and ONTV. You guys are awesome. Shout out to the fans. Thanks for watching the streams. Thanks for watching everybody's streams. Thanks for supporting League of Legends. We really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to my grandma and my grandma. Same to you. The fans want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. Fans want to hear what you have to say back at home, mom, dad, anything. Uh, thanks to everyone watching us. Thanks to our fans. Thanks to Moscow Five organization. I want to say hello to my parents. Hello to Nasha. Hello to the chat that I'm sitting in. And to everyone else. Thanks that you're cheering us up. That was awesome. Right on. Moscow 5 moving on to take on Dignitas CLG to face off against Against All Authority. Right now we're going to head to Alin in the crowd for a little bit of a contest. Hey, what's up, you guys? I am in the audience here at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. That was an exciting match, wasn't it, you guys? Yeah! And I understand you, my friend, are a huge Moscow 5 fan. How does it feel to have your favorite team win this semifinals match? It's amazing, amazing match. It was really close. I like to play. I'm a huge fan for, of Moscow 5 since the tournament in Kyiv, and I just love how Alex plays mid. Very nice. And do you think they have what it takes to take it to win the whole championship? I hope, th I hope so, and I think so. Because they, they just showed their skills, they were behind, everyone was thinking they were going to lose, and they just turned it around and fucked them up. All right, well, we'll just have to tune in tomorrow for the grand finals, and we'll see. And also, at 2.50, we will have a raffle for an Alienware laptop, and after that will be the third place matches. So you guys stay tuned, and we will see you guys in a little bit.